Thank you so much to the members of this channel. If you would like to become a member yourself, all you have to do is click the join button next to the subscribe button. Hey guys, welcome button. back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. If you guys want to take part in that, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them from my new notifications. So today we are going to take a look at my current household, which I am following this Whimsy Story Legacy challenge. I got this from Lisa. She, you know, put me on to this challenge and it looks like it's a lot of fun. So I started it and I'm already on Gen 2. Well, I just started Generation 2. Uh, Generation 1 was way different than my normal gameplay and that is kind of what this whole thing is about. Like, it's definitely not my normal gameplay and it was very, very fun, and I've been really, really addicted to it, so I thought I would kind of show you guys this. I will have it linked in the description if you guys would like to also, you know, go along with this legacy challenge in your game, but I just thought I'd give you an update on what I am doing off camera, and this is what it is. So, the Whimsy Story Legacy Challenge converted from TS4 to TS3. I already completed the first one, which was the goal was to find love while homeless, Name all your children after nature, foster a healthy garden, must live in, live in a suburban style, tiny home their entire life, which was so incredibly difficult because I had to build it myself. And you guys know I'm not a builder, but we made it work. Okay. It was tough, but we made it work. <laughs> and also to have, be a plant parent, have a house full of plants, master the handiness skill, have loves the outdoor and eco-friendly trait, complete the monster maker lifetime wish which was about to be the dang death of me, okay? I have never, ever completed that lifetime wish. It is complete, but oh my god, <laughs> it is a lot. Uh, also, the sim must rarely wear makeup and loves to dress casually, which is not my typical sim. I love to make my sim, like, you know, really, like, makeup and uh, lashes and everything, and I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I went with this challenge. Uh, have at least three tattoos, collect, create furniture through dumpster diving, sculpting, or in the junkyard, go to the spot at least once a week. That one was difficult because I would forget, but I started to kind of get a routine, so it did help a little bit. And then to be a self-employed inventor. I have been in the inventing career before, never like really got to the top of it or explored it super, you know, a bunch, but um, yeah, it was definitely some different gameplay and I am now on to generation two which is definitely another different one for me. So it says, happiness is not only found in a partner. You grew up extremely loved and cared for by your parents. They were the perfect couple. After watching what seemed to be the perfect love story unfold since you were a child, you feel as though it can't be possible for you to have the same thing. It even begins to feel daunting. So you choose to stay away from love. You might go on a date here and there, but ultimately your fear and anxiety about having a partner keeps you single for nearly your entire life. Though you never wanted a partner, you love children. You always have wanted to be a parent. The idea of giving a small sim a home you and love for the rest of their lives makes your heart swell. You want to be that for someone and whoever said you need a partner to have kids. You say to heck with the societal norms and adopt your children throughout your life. You parent them alone even though it's just you. They have all the love they could ever ask for. They're happy. Your family is picture perfect. You are a super parent and feel that your life is completely full of love even though you've never had a romantic interest. Until you hit elderhood. Caught by surprise, you meet someone who you instantly connect with. You both have lived your own lives and find yourself completely and fully in love. Completely and fully unexpectedly. You live out the rest of your days with your newfound soulmate and knit adorable creations for your grandkids. So, the goal, which stresses me out. Also, Binks, so you're going to hear him in the background. I'm filming during the day. It's even worse than at night, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> but you must adopt five children. Okay, that is the part that scares me because I do not want a household full of vanilla pudding face sims. So if you guys know how to make adoptable children not be vanilla faced pudding sims, please let me know in the comments down below because that is making me nervous the most out of this whole entire generation. <laughs> also, you cannot be in a relationship until you are an elder and you marry as an elder have the surrounded by family lifetime wish. That one I'm not too worried about. I've done that many, many times. Have the unflirty and family oriented traits. Must be close with friends or must be close friends with all of your children. Go to every seasonal festival and celebrate every seasonal holiday. Home should reflect seasonal feelings uh, to a high degree. That one sounds fun to me. I love going to the festivals. 
the decorating I feel like will be a lot of fun putting each, you know, each season in the house. I think that'll be fun. Uh, reach level 10 of the education career, have at least one animal in the household and have a gallery wall full of family photos. I am terrible at taking photos and family photos of my Sims. So I'm kind of excited to have that part in this, you know, generation and to see what kind of photos that we get. So that is generation two. I'm trying not to skip ahead and see what is coming for the next generation until I'm almost to the point where I need to go to the next generation because I just kind of want it to be a surprise. So I'm not going to look at any more. I will have this linked in the description for you guys. We're going to hop into my game. I'm going to introduce you to my family, show you guys kind of what we're working with and what we're doing. So let's jump into the game and meet oh my, my family. We are in game and this is the sim that I decided to carry on generation two with. I love her so, so much. She looks a lot like her mother, like pretty much identical. Um, I think besides the eyes and the hair color, she has her dad's hair color. Um, our mother actually just passed away. So all of the kiddos, all three of us got um, some inheritance. I think it was 67 thousand something it was all the same we all got the same amount of money which was really really great uh and i also have two let me show you we have two tiberium passed on from our mother and i'm gonna keep them in the family inventory because i don't really need the money right now and maybe we can pass it on to the next generation if we're kind of struggling with money so i'm just gonna leave them there for now um, but this is my Sim Blossom River Hawk. She is unflirty, loves the outdoors, family oriented, genius, and nurturing. I thought the nurturing would be really good for this generation. Loves the outdoor and genius. I kind of rolled and that's what she got. So I was pretty happy. We got some pretty good traits. And then of course, family oriented and unflirty. I picked for this challenge and she likes dark wave, vegetarian, grilled salmon, sea foam, and she is a Libra. So let's take a look at our family tree, our mother. There she is, Sonia Riverhawk. She is who I started out with and Nicholas Riverhawk is who uh, she ended up marrying in Hidden Springs. Hidden Springs was actually the perfect world for the first generation. I'm not gonna lie, it worked out really nicely there, um, but I just needed a change of scenery. So we are in Sunset Valley Renovated. This is our sister over here, Poppy Riverhawk, and she just, literally just started dating this Michael Bachelor. And Forrest Riverhawk is our oldest brother. He is married to Camilla. She was a sim in the Hidden Springs world. They aged up together and uh, they're married and he is just now expecting a baby. He has been moved out and with her and married for quite some time, but they never had a kid or anything. I have story progression on, but they've never had a child. And it sounds like they are just now having their first baby. So that is exciting. Um, and for her lifetime wish, we have surrounded by a family. And this is our family. And for some reason, Camilla is like invisible. I don't know why. I've reset her. I've reset the entire town. I don't know what happened. I gave her a makeover. I don't know if there is maybe some messed up CC. So I'm going to have to look into that. But unfortunately, you guys cannot see her right now. Um, but yeah, we have a great friendship with our brother and our sister. We also had a great friendship with our father and our mother. And we had a puppy named Fern. Fern was with us for a very long time and passed away right before I decided to move on with this sim and move into a new world. So that was kind of upsetting. But we have to get another pet in this gen anyway. So we will have to pick out. Maybe we'll find something today. I might take a look and see if there is a pet to adopt. Um, our boss is Dustin Langrack and we have Cornelia Goth as our um, co-worker. She's the only co-worker that we currently know. Uh, we are a level two in education and we just got that promotion. So, you know, things are, things are pretty okay. And I do have her working on photography. She wants to buy a camera and also visit Egypt, which my other, my first generation, they started to kind of travel a little bit towards the end of their life. And I kind of want her to also travel and then we can, you know, get a camera and just, you know, do all that stuff. Cause we need to take some photos anyways and have like family photos, uh, like a gallery wall. And I just figured she's interested in photography. So I might as well go ahead and roll with it. But we are in this house here, which I really like this house. I think this house is going to suit us really well. Now for the adoption, I still have to figure out the correct NRAS settings. I tested it out with the settings to see if we would not get a vanilla pudding face sim. 
And whenever I tried it with the settings that it said through NROS, like to change like the NPC something or other, it, I went through the settings that I found on the NROS page and then I was Googling and that was what I saw. And I didn't, it was a vanilla face sim. So I don't know what else I could do. I'm going to have to look more into it. If I do figure it out, I will let you guys know. I'll leave it in a pinned comment because I'm sure other people will want to know about the do adoption as well. Um, but anyway, this is the house we're living in. It is super, super beautiful. So if we scroll down here, we have the main bedroom over here and we have some of her items over here. Now, this is the last photo we got with our mom. Now, we had a bunch of these photos from when we were kids. Like at, as they grew up with each age, I took a photo at one of the festivals. But whenever I started a new file, those photos were blank, unfortunately. So this is like the last, literally last photo we got with her mom. And then the next day she passed. So I'm glad we at least got one photo with her before, you know, she left. And then she was in a couple of different, um, I think study club and Bait Club is the two clubs she was in while she was a teenager. So we've got these two um, things here. Then she got this, which is, I think, most likely to have a big family, which was not a bad one to get. And then, of course, her diploma over here. I didn't change anything in this house except for one thing, and I'll show you that when we get there, or maybe two things. Um, we have the bathroom over here. We have another bedroom over here. And these bedrooms are really, like, nice-sized bedrooms. So... I think it'll fit perfectly for the five kiddos that we are supposed to adopt. We have another uh, bathroom over here and another bedroom over here, which is really, really massive. Then we go down a floor. This is where I changed a couple of things is I put a better um, fridge and stove in here because I hate when the food spoils so, so quickly. So I just got the best fridge since we could afford it. And then I also added in this little deep fryer, which is she is going to go deep fry a burrito in a moment here. And then this room right here was originally a laundry room. And I thought we needed another shower since we're going to have five kiddos. Um, so, and I hate laundry. <laughs> so I went ahead and just added another bathroom in that space. But everything else I just kept as it is because this house is pretty much perfect for me. We have a very big dining room over here and then our living space. And we also have some fishies in here because she was fishing a little bit. So we have a snail, we have a jellyfish, we have a sea batfish. This was a toad. And then there's like something else in there. I'm not sure. Let me see what we have. We have the toad, a snail. Oh, we have two sea bat starfish and two jellyfish in there. I thought I put one of those in there, but I didn't. But that's what we have going on in there. But I think we're just going to kind of play. Actually, you know what I need to do is I need, oh my gosh, our brother moved. He lived right here. Him and Camilla lived here and Poppy went to live with them when our mother passed away. So where did they end up moving to? Oh my goodness. Where did they go? Oh, they're over here. So they live in the museum loft, a four bedroom, three bathroom. I'm gonna have to go visit that. But what I wanted to do is go over here to the graveyard because I need to manage the dead because our mother is not at the graveyard. So let me do that okay, really quick. So I have our mother right here. So she has one of these really fancy gravestones. So we have Sonia Riverhawk and we're going to go ahead and just go with that. So we have Fern over here, Nicholas, and now Sonia Riverhawk. I have them under this tree. I just thought that would be a cute place for them. So that is where our family is, our little Fern. And Nicholas was, he passed away way before her. Well, not really way before her, but he was a little bit older than her. So he went first and she kind of stuck around for quite some time, which I was pretty happy about. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just play a little bit and we're going to head over to the Riverhawk household. I am going to go ahead and cancel out the burrito situation because I don't want her to really do that right now. We can do it later. Oh, I also forgot to show you the backyard. Um, I extended this garden because her mother had a ton of things in the garden because of, you know, the things that we needed to do. So we have a bunch of stuff here and I have a bunch of stuff in the fridge as well. And I just kind of planted stuff because I thought it would be fun. I love gardening in The Sims, so why not? There was a seesaw here. I took it out for now because I don't know how far I'm going to have to take the garden. But for now, I left it that way. And then over here, we have like a garage area. I forgot our car, unfortunately. But now that we got some inheritance, I can definitely purchase a car for her, which I will 
I will do, but oh, we're not going to go visit the Riverhawks? Why? Did she it leave? It like Camilla left, so I'm still going to have to figure out why she is, like, invisible. But let's see if we can get a car for our Sim. We have a couple of different ones. We have this Honda Civic. Should we get her that one? Ooh. Um, our family car was a Toyota Prius, but... I don't want to spend a whole bunch. That's actually kind of a lot. I can get her a Jeep or we can get this Ford Focus for 4,000 simoleons. Maybe I will just get a Ford Focus for now and we can spend a little more later on. I think that's what we are well, going to do. My game crashed. So I think it has something to do with my original Sim because I don't have any issues now. And once I placed her down in the graveyard, that's when issues started happening. So I am just going to leave her be, unfortunately, um, because I don't know what the heck is going on. But anyways, we're going to come up here and we are going to see if we can adopt a pet from a shelter. I want to see if there's anything that, you know, is calling my name. Otherwise, I'm going to see if we can maybe visit our family. Is Camilla still invisible? She is sort of invisible. Now there's not even an outline of her. So I don't know. We might have to go stop by. But here we go with the lag. Please don't do this to me. If I have to give up this household, I'm going to be so upset. I'm having way too much fun with this, but I am getting a little stressed as well. Oh my gosh, here's our sister over here. Poppy is over, over here with somebody. Okay, so we have some cats. I don't know what I want if I want a cat or a dog. We had a dog last time, so maybe a cat. Ichabod is super cute. Shadow is also super cute. And Felix, um, dogs. Oh my god, Klutz. Klutz is absolutely adorable. I don't know what I want if I want a cat or dog because I really think Ichabod is also super adorable. So I'm not sure which one I want, but let's go over here and say hi to our sister. Let's ask her how her day is going and kind of talk to her because she just got placed with our brother and I know that's going to be kind of a whole a whole thing, but we are going to see uh, how she's doing. It actually looked like she was doing her homework, which is really nice. So maybe we should tell her to finish her homework possibly. Okay, she seems to be doing okay, uh, but we are getting a phone call. So I'm curious to see who is calling us. Um, okay, apparently a prank call. Let me see if anybody is home at the house over here. Again, it looks like possibly Camilla. Let me see if we can go over here and see if we need to reset her or something. I don't know what is going on, but this is the house that they live in and it looks like it's a pretty nice house. Well, so here is... <laughs> Here is Camilla. Um, girl, what were you doing? Why do you have clown face paint on you? I will never know. Oh, here's Forrest. Forrest is coming home. Okay, so this is our oldest brother, Forrest. He is just now getting home and Camilla is leaving. I, I don't know. I don't know what she's doing girl what are you doing i have no freaking clue but at least our brother is coming home so that we can kind of hang out with him for a minute she's getting another dang phone call girl let's see who it is i mean we don't really have any friends we just moved here so i can't imagine that it's going to be it's oh um you okay girl, she, you're, you're going okay i don't know what she's doing i truly don't but let's go ahead and see if our brother will allow us inside. I tell you what, my families are just one big old mess. Okay, he's letting us inside so that we can, you know, visit and see how things are going. I want to check out, like, the bedroom space because I know, I'm pretty sure I looked at this house whenever um, I was looking at the world, but I want to see kind of what it looks like again because I don't remember. So we have two bedrooms down here. We have, ooh, the kitchen is, like, up in this area. Ooh, they got a lot of space. You guys are probably hearing things too. Sorry about that. But this is, ooh, I actually really like this house. I almost wish I moved into this one, but it's totally fine. This one is just a really cool one. So at least there's enough space. They're going to have kids. They have enough room for Poppy. And if Poppy decides to stay here uh, when she ages up. So what a nice home. Let's come up here and visit our brother and maybe try to get Poppy to come home because she was doing her homework and I hope that he makes sure that she is doing well in school because, you know, she was doing pretty good, but I don't know how things are now, obviously. Let's go ahead and compliment his home and his cooking, even though he did not cook us anything. He is just simply sipping on some juice. <laughs> he 
he's like, yeah, am I cooking? It's uh, it's non-existent. I'm going to see if we can take a photo of our brother, like a weirdo. He's like, what are you doing? Bro, no, don't you dare move. This is probably going to be a terrible, terrible photo. My grandchild, yeah, what? Uh, family and friends. Let's see what that turned out to look like. I can only imagine that it is going to be not great. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's blurry. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> we have to take pictures, okay? We need a family photo wall and you're our family. And actually, you know what? Camilla, come back over here. We got to get a photo of you looking like this because that is just way too funny for me to pass up, girl. So please come over so I can take a photo she of you. She said she's going to come over here and I'd like to know who the heck you are and why you're in this household. Bro, you better not mess up because you got a good woman. So don't even try to flirt. Don't even do it. I will tell. I will tell. I really will. Let me just keep an eye on this because we aren't playing these games, my dude. Okay, where is Camilla? Here she is. Is she still? Oh, she's sick because she is preggers. Okay, we are going to not take a photo of her while she throws up. But I do want... To, oh, she's going to run in there now, isn't she? I don't know who this girl is, but she's like asking him if he's single and all kinds of things. Like, girl mind your business he's very not single okay he very much has a lady oh my god you guys oh my god i can't oh no she moved i think she moved i think she moved hold on i have to see if we got that photo or if i'm gonna have to take another because it is just oh she moved no 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 girl we gotta do this again because it is it is a look okay it is an absolute look don't leave why do they do this to i me? think we got her guys i think we got her this time i had to keep stopping her because she kept moving and she's like <laughs> Oh my god, okay, I had to. I'm sorry, I had to. It is just too funny to walk away from. So, yeah, that happened. That, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and send her on home because she's hungry and she does have work tomorrow. I'll probably send her to work and try to see if there's any other pets before I wrap this up. Oh, my sister's coming home. Oh, I love this family. She's just now getting home from work, so I'm going to check one more time to see if there are any pets that I want to adopt before I wrap up this video. I just want to see if there's anything different. I might even get Klutz if he's still there. I'm not sure. I was really, like, into Ichabod. We have Decker here, Egyptian, but, oh, you're an elder. You're going to pass soon. Uh, Klutz is still there trying to decide should I get Klutz or should I get Ichabod I might even get both of them to be completely honest but I think I'm gonna get Klutz because he's just kind of calling out my name he's noisy but that's okay we're gonna go ahead and grab Klutz we're gonna keep the name because you know that's kind of a funny name but for now I am going to wrap it up right here let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I will have a link to the um challenge and all the rules and stuff like that if you guys are interested in taking part in it in it as well so go ahead and leave a like on the channel turn on your post notifications subscribe to the channel all of that fun stuff i love you all now see you in the next video Bye.